Wait, what? Oh, wait, is that what a PDT looks like? That's that's a lot of wires and things. That's that's more than just like a dermal implant. Um but maybe we can use this PDT to get into That's just crazy. Hello. Crazy enough to work. Joyce does it again. Puddle of mud has an all new synth stripper. She is all so 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 hot. Visit us at two quarters signal. Ah, Elizabeth Swanson. So the force field is gone, but the door is locked still for some reason. Did it deactivate the other force field too? Maybe? Oh, it did. Okay. Okay. So it deactivated all the force fields. Yeah, John, think about the mission. And possibly, in the middle of all this slaughter, there's another survivor, clearly alive. His life signs seem normal. How aware is he of what has happened beyond the Groom Lake? Torn apart door. This door is made from medium strength industrial compound, but it has been torn apart like paper. Lovely. All right then, how does it work? I can't see him working like that. All right. Ah, shit. The stasis control panel is broken. The shiny light has betrayed me. Um, something about a head? What about this discarded stasis pod? More chemicals. Ah! Alright, that's a fun little bug, I guess. Kinda, it pull- it fills my screen with the thing, but then it seems to let me continue moving around. Alright, so I guess we have to go through the torn apart door. Oops, stasis pod chip. Human torso. Legs. Oh, lovely! Another body. Or two. Burke Carter. This still my burning heart, my beating heart. Saw the most divine creature in hydroponics. She's friends with that nurse, Erica. Erica gives me the evil eye, but Sadie. Sadie is just a divine thing. Curves in all the right places in the face of an angel. Keep trying to come up with reasons to visit medical hydroponics section. Never sees me, though. I'm not a trained medical staff. Those soldiers in the recovery rooms give me funny looks if I'm at the window trying to get her attention. I have to find a way to speak to Sadie all directly. I've seen her head to the decontamination room, and she seems to go there after every shift. I try and strike up a conversation by one of the machines. Maybe offer to buy her a drink. I'll do it tomorrow. Maybe the day after, because tomorrow I got a double shift. You win it. Hey, Index! Welcome on by my winning. Um, 
I'm still alive, so I got that going for me, which is a lot that I can say in a point-and-click horror game. <laughs> I hope you're having a good evening. Still, it takes a brave man to work on unknown sciences in the bosom of the cosmos, doesn't it? Like the jocks back at school would ever be able to do what I friggin' do. Risk life and limb to repair essential electronics. That takes courage. May not be a soldier, but I think I have the right to call myself a man of courage. Of course, everything seems to be going to shit, so we'll see how long we can live. Uh, we've collected six different deaths so far, and I think there's one that I could have gotten that I accidentally fixed before I could have died. So, darn. I haven't collected all the deaths. What's with this shutdown? Jesus, nine days ago now? I've been trying to get through to the surgical pods for a week. I gave up going to hydroponics to see Sadie after they started restricting access to unnecessary personnel. So now I just hang around product storage by the vending machines, hoping to see her. But when I do, I just choke up. Damn, I'm so pathetic. I'm reading this book by Arian Sanchez about the eugenics wars. Friggin' amazing what we're even allowed to do with what we do on the Broom Lake. What would happen all those years ago? I have to hide the book, though. Dr. Milan saw me reading it in the rec room, and he went totally apeshit. Threatened to burn the book and fire my ass. So now it stays under my pillow. I sure as hell won't make it on my rounds. Instead, I bring one of those Pangean series by W.C. Dark with me. Is that his real name? I doubt it. I love Major Plot Hole. Plot... Plot Hole? I feel like WC Dark. I feel like this is this is a jab at a specific author. But the only when I think when I see that name, the only thing I think is like, um, like C. K. Lewis or Philip K. Dick. But I'm I'm not familiar enough with their writing on this. But plot hole seems like a, a specific stab at an author. He's incredible. Sometimes I wish I'd had the balls and be in the Marines rather than engineering. I'd love to be like him. Or maybe the uh, that person who does like the Tom Clancy novels. I haven't heard of this venerated dick. <laughs> Rations arrived today. Nobody's impressed. It's all emergency shit, so hardly gourmet, but man, I wasn't expecting much. This is seriously bad. This food's short. People are get going bug fuck. Lotus punched Malone. Broke the poor bastard's nose. Steve's having trouble keeping everyone's fists off each other. I keep asking why we can't just raid hydroponics. But they keep shouting me down. Especially Sadie. She looks so pissed when she sees me. But no one near as pissed as when she looks at Dr. Milan and Dr. Al... I cannot say his last name. She must despise me. Why didn't I just ask her out before? Because you're a coward, Burke. Dirty, stinking coward. Also, the idea of Tom Clancy not doing the Tom Clancy novels is arguably hysterical. <laughs> I mean, um, Applegate, okay, Applegate, she didn't write all of the Animorph books. There are a lot of them that are ghost-written. Um, but she, she is an awesome author. Speaking of horror, um, she, she does surprisingly good existential horror, considering, uh, one, Animorphs. Uh, is very good about the horrors of war. But there's another actual sci-fi novel that she did that I took a gander at briefly. Um, where, like, basically Earth was destroyed, but, like, a bunch of people were able to launch off into a spaceship before um, it was hit by the ending meteor. And then they get picked up, I think, by, like, an alien spaceship. And the alien spaceship does interesting things. Uh, I don't recall if it's just like having a having a giggle or if it's on for a purpose, but I do remember one specific person who had all of their skin removed and replaced with like a skin-like translucent barrier. Um, so they felt the excruciating pain of basically all their skin and nerves being removed. But the new barrier is, like, extremely durable, and, like, they can't be hurt. But it's translucent, so you can just 
see all of their muscles and like their flesh all underneath it. Uh, so you know, just a, just a little bit of casual horror. Is the Animorphs good? I just remember fascinating with the tra cover transformations. It is very good. Um, it's hard to remember too much. Uh, if you want just short snippets of it, there are some of the Chronicles, like the Andalite Chronicles, um, and the uh, I think there I think it's Hork Bajar Chronicles as well. Um, that sort of are more like prequel kind of things that I recall specifically. I know I've read those that were pretty good, but like the books overall, um, like it's not, it's a very grim series. It ends pretty, pretty roughly like, yay, but also they have PTSD. The survivors have PTSD. Um, like, there, there's a lot of messed up stuff that goes in there that's kind of glossed over because, oh, it's a kid's book. I missed out on childhood. I mean, you can always go back and read them. Ain't nothing stopping you. And uh, I, Applegate is certainly one of those offers that has uh, aged well, um, unlike, say, uh, Orison Scott Card, who is kind of a shitty person. Which is very surprising, consider considering the Ender's Game series and Speakers of the Dead. Uh, it's very surprising how he turned out as the years went on. But, uh... Okay, Applegate's been fucking based. The Ender's Game... Yeah, yeah. Ender's Game was a pretty good book. So was uh, Speaker of the Dead, the, the sequel. Anyway. Um, I do... I do like talking about books and I read a lot of web serials but I, uh, I don't know how I would what would be a good way to talk about them because like the thing about talking about books is it's like either either I spoil it for people while talking about things or I have to stay very superficial and brief to not spoil the things I mean, the other option is if I actually organize sort of like a, a book club or a book reading kind of thing. But that would also require me to have like community hangout places, like having actually setting up a Discord, which I I don't have the energy to manage. Or have like the stuff I would put into it. It's also really weird because like a lot of people that I know uh, are in sort of a reading like I don't know I don't know there's definitely a lot of things I would love to get people interested in in reading and it's always fun to hear about new things I also seem to always go on about the author window I don't know that seems weirdly novel but it makes sense to me the power plant went out again I'm so freaking scared. I can barely breathe. Those rumors of animals prowling around medical. Not rumors. I saw one guy ripped apart by one of those things. Could, didn't make it out too well. Pale skin tails, I think? They move around like a pack of dogs. They're strong. People are scared and hungry. I kept a small stash of food in my quarters. Didn't even tell Steve about it. I feel ashamed for keeping it to myself, but people are going crazy, man. I think it might actually be against regulation to hoard food. Mijoletta would kill me if he knew I had rations hidden. Come on, the guy's nuts. He practically strangled me the other day. Carswell had to restrain him. Body still freaking kills from the operation earlier. Steve was nominated to reprogram the security turrets. The guy just went and did it. He's a hero. Not like me. Now I'm not just a coward. I'm a friggin' murderer. He used those poor bastards in stasis to keep those god-awful things from getting to me. I just unlocked the stasis units and began the recovery process, so that when they staggered out of the deep freeze, those things were waiting for them. I found a product storage room that nobody was using and locked myself in. When the breach was reported, I heard the screams. I pissed myself. I fucking pissed myself. Is that any way for a real man to behave? As I ran, I saw Sadie cradling her best friend's bloodied body in the corridor. Worst friggin' part isn't that it never occurred for me to stop. I just hope they'd buy me the time I needed to find a hiding place. 
That's who Burt Carter was, whoever finds this. And I know somebody will. He was a coward. I just hope that the computer parts in the PDA come in handy for whoever finds this. If my hide was this useless in life, the least I can hope is that something I left behind will be useful. I mean... I do need that chip. Let's, uh, let's decant this guy. Whoops. I gotta put the chip in first. Stasis pod chip. That guy was going through the shit. Yeah. Um... Those are symbols, all right. All right, legs have a check mark. Hold on, I'm gonna save before we do this. Save game. I also read the people he put that it. Yeah, and also he didn't survive either. It just tore through. I'm surprised it didn't like destroy this guy. The monsters seem to have some kind of selection. Although the fact that he mentioned they had tails, I wonder if uh, I wonder if it's uh, our old friend Samantha. Or actually, is there? So like, hold on. These stasis pods. Ch Ch two in O. CH I see All right, we have to do a bit of biology So for head we need I see four bars We need CH CH2 with a N. And it's been so long since I had to do any organic chemistry. I'm pretty sure it's like high school was the last time I had to deal with fucking chemical notation. I think it's item two. This one is torso, I think. It's hard to tell, hold on. So that circles the head. I feel like this this has to be torso. So I think torso. Um, okay, so it looks like the three bars we don't need to worry about, but just the chemical. Uh, torso. B. Three dots. I think. I think I can maybe just m reference only the dots, and I think that will give me what I need. If I cycle to two, yeah, all right. So here we want three. That's not right. All right, chemicals are different per area. So item three, and it's gonna be H3C to a nitrogen to oxygen to nitrogen oxygen you have another carbon hydrogen 3 I think the first molecule is enough for me to make sure I'm right this one is a third box we've got I feel like I should know what 6H3 CSO3H is is that unknown I feel like that should be a known compound H3CSO3H that really stands out so I can just look for that Took organic chemistry in college, now anytime you see a hexagon or pentagon, you cower in fear. Oh yeah. Yeah, biology. Biology is mad science. I chose I chose IT, so uh 
My madness is the rocks we we figured out how to we tortured with making think with lightning. Uh, biology is its own uh, level of insanity. Hey, green snack. Welcome on by. I hope you're having a good evening. We are being spooky scary in a sci-fi game. Right now, we are trying to perhaps decant this person. Um, so I need a three box with that. All right, so that goes to the legs. So I think we've got head. Oh, we need to indicate dosage too. Oh, shoot. All right, so the first guy needs three. We need three on the head. Um, we need three for this. Oh, I see another chemical down there. I wonder if this one's actually indicating two items. Um, or maybe no, I think it's a glitch. I think it's just a mirror of that. Uh, okay, so we need three doses of that one. So if I hit... What's this do? Oh, I can't decant until all the parameters are correct. That's a problem, because we don't- we only have three. Um, this one, we need a dosage of one. So let's see, we've got... Head, absolutely, that one's easy. Um... Upper torso. So, head is good. Torso, good. Um, we need abs. We have thigh. Knee. Calf. These are very scientific, uh, splits between the name. Um, torso is good. And then, so three dose of H3C SO3H. H3C SO3H, three doses, perfect. All right, so we have thighs. So we have half the puzzle done. The question is these others. There's five options, four doses. So we need a way to narrow this down even further. Um, let's see if we can get some more information elsewhere. Wait, hold on. What about this stasis pod? No, I don't see a glowing light. Stasis pod, discarded stasis pod. Hmm. Let's see. Where else could I maybe get some information to narrow this down? Oh, 
All right, we have a chemical here on this PDA. We've got a... We need one dose of... It looks like HO to a nitrogen CH3 CH5 CH5 and that should be item 5 box Um, can I see where it needs to go? I don't. Let me, let me out! Let me out! Hmm. Nope, that's not it. Let's see if that tracks with any of the locations. Let's start here. So fifth item, no. Oh, that one only has four. Wait, that was one we already have. Shit, I fucked it up. No, I fucked up the torso! I think it's number two? I can't believe I've done this. Maybe it's three. Yeah, it's three. The H3C. Fuck. Hold on, let's double check. Let's head. One dose, H3C, right. All right, let's not mess that up. We need to mess, so abdomen has five. HO, squiggle, all right. All right, so we have abdomen now. And we just need knee and calf. Um, let's see if this guy's PDA had... No, no, it's one. So this one looks like number four, got like a nitrogen, hydrogen, carbon, now the problem is, is I don't know if that means four doses or if that little thing in the bottom left of the note is like a two. I'm gonna say four doses though. Four dots, four doses. Uh, let me out. All right, this up to four. Oh, this one only has three. Do a quick brute force. Aha! Hey, nimmer 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 nimmer. No. The survivor. He didn't make it. I think I killed him. I think I did something. I told you to leave him. He was dead the minute they froze him. You just made his death easier, simpler. Oh, jeez. 
just killed a man, Tia. Damn, Nerin Rin. Came in at a bad time. We just killed a man. Mercy. Mercy. You have no idea how much mercy I have. All right. I've been in hell. Made, made choices that got people killed. This isn't just about you anymore. <laughs> hope so you didn't cause this. <laughs> Yeah, that uh, that guy was rigged to die as soon as another person talked, and shit, you tipped it over. Anyway, let's uh, refill that stasis canister and get all that fluid. Uh, I don't think this will fit. I just kind of scoop it up in there, just like vacuum it up. Sure. Poor bastard. I needed your delicious, delicious uh, stasis fluid, though. You know how it is. All right. So I think we've got cryo ready. Now we need oxygen and to process this meat. Now our oxygen cylinder won't fit. How do we make it fit? This should be useful. We just wrap it with cables. Find biological material. Uh. Oh. How do we refine a bunch of random viscera? Hmm. Spooky, scary, spooky, scary. Is there something back here? Hmm. Not seeing how I could process the viscera. I need to get the thing removed so I can go through the security door. Not even sure what refine means in this context. Yeah, yeah, it is very confusing and concerning because like what it's going to be doing is just removing my uh, the little tracker chip thing in me. So why does it need organic? Oh, protein and fat storage. Oh, so maybe it will use the organic matter to heal me up. Which, considering the contaminated organic matter in this facility, I don't think that's a good thing. Um, I'm, I'm probably going to start sprouting all sorts of weird organs. Man, Neptune's pretty stormy today, uh, ain't it? Hmm. All right, let me let me check real quick. No, 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 no. Do 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 do. Neptune, I mean, it's a great. 
Neptune's a great vacation destination for black site human experimentation ships. Not a not a common cruise ship choice for a person though. Uh, not at least, not voluntarily. Certainly not what we chose. Alright, I would not have thought of that. Alright, we have to put it down. And then we, uh, refine the organic matter by using our pistol to mash it. That's, uh, unsettling. Oh, and our, our pistol's covered in gore now. Refined organic material. Yep. Sure is refined. <laughs> For a given definition of refined. Not my definition of refined. All right, let's, uh, let's do some surgery, people. Yay! Hopefully it turns out better than how it was for this guy. You're not helping. Sorry. Okay. Just shit. Even be careful doesn't cover it. I'll be fine. I'll be fine. It's not like the power's gonna cut out in the middle of surgery. Oh no. Why would you even say Dude. that? Dude. I'm about to cut into my spinal cord. I'm allowed one joke. Wait, hold on. Rewind. Spine. The PDAs are in our spines? Then the fact that the creatures are skinning people. Oh, a loading screen just for this? Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Are we going to have to like, is this going to be a whole puzzle doing the surgery? Are we going to have to do, uh, what's that? What's that ridiculous DS game that you did the, uh, the surgery with? And it had all sorts of crazy things. Like, I think at one point they, you had to like disarm a bomb. this oh I hate this oh that's not funny anymore this is no longer hilarious oh man oh I have to actively do things why do you for why do you make me interact with it oh that makes it so much worse Oh, yeah, I don't want to hear error, my friend.
Uh... regret is um my model does not have the range of expressions to properly convey the faces I was making during that whole scene um mm. If I hit continue game, is it going to put me right back into that scene? Because I kind of, I kind of want to be right before that scene, but I think I forgot to save right before going in. If I hit continue game, what's going to happen? That was, that was a bit overwhelming. No. Okay. To ask any questions, you may feel some discomfort after the procedure, such as a headache or nausea. Let your nets know if you are uncomfortable, so that we may be given medication and/or other treatment. <sighs> All right, if if we fail this time, I'm going to main menu and even if I have to like offline replay a section to get us back to here um, this, this is This is a little overwhelming after getting through Just, it's, you'll feel a you'll feel a slight pinching sensation. The game is really earning that uh that gore tag though. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So. One, two, uh, three, no, three, four, five, six, seven, Subject is alive, deceased, alive. Ah! Oh, fuck! Oh, fuck! Oh, fuck! Um... Um... Are we getting camped? Oh, I think it's eating the body that we pushed out. This is fine. This is perfectly fine. This is totally normal and fine. <laughs> the grunt thing, yeah. I would say, uh, if you had to do cell surgery like that, you would also be in excruciating pain. Rebecca. No. Rebecca. Run. No. Rebecca. 
Rebecca. Run. No. Rebecca. Run. Okay, hold on, wait. I'm thinking Samantha. I was about to freak the fuck out. Yeah, hopefully we won't have to do any heavy lifting. <laughs> My dude is zonked. Alright. Um, I'm going to save right here before I forget. I'm not sure if this has any kind of autosave feature. It seems to be missing a lot of critical features, which is a little annoying, but I think I think this is where we stop for today. I think this is I think this is a good progress. Um, that whole surgery scene has me uh, uh, a bit overwhelmed. Um, <laughs> so I think I think I need to take a little bit of a break. Um, <laughs> uh, definitely enjoying it so far. Yeah. Medical trauma, good stopping. What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think uh, I think it's a good point to uh, to refresh on. Ah, no, no, the flushy, the flushy's getting stretched out.